Manchester United face an uphill task as they bid to stay in the Europa League. They travel to Athletic Bilbao on Thursday. They're 3-2 down to Athletic Bilbao with the second leg in Spain. I think that we saw plenty, plenty of evidence of last week um, of, a, of an emerging young team that's got the prospect of doing very, very well. Uh, there was an outstanding performance by them. Uh, not only just in their ability, but their energy was unbelievable. The, 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 the highest stats of any play, team that's played at Old Trafford in the last 10 years in terms of distance run. And that is great credit to the, the, not just the energy, but the desire of the team to do well. It was fantastic. So it's a good emerging team, and I think they're going to do very well in the next few years. La ventaja numérica que se desprende de... We'll have the obvious numeric advantage we got from the result in Manchester. So we'll start this match with a 1-0 advantage. However, we'll play for 90 minutes tomorrow, and this cannot be ignored. And we shouldn't think we've already won. Sería imprudente, ¿no? En lo que creo es que... I think that the only way for tomorrow to be good for us is to beat Manchester. Meanwhile, Ferguson has also confirmed that striker Dimitar Berbatov could be sent to leave the club at the end of the season. In the pick of the other Europa League last 16 ties, PSV Eindhoven still have hope despite being 4-2 down to Valencia. Udinese have an uphill task against RZ Alkmaar and Atletico Madrid looking control against Besiktas. We'll have results and reaction in tomorrow's programme.